Number 10. Packard Panther. We may consider this car exactly what its last name suggests. Panther being the inspired shape of its exquisite and rather unique design of that era which in the forefront appeared like that of the face of the cat itself. Packard Panther's concept design was meant to show the world where the design and future of cars were heading back in that era and has certainly given attention to detail in shaping it exactly as envisioned. The Packard company had plans to feature a new fleet designed by the late 1950s yet hasn't gone full blown into production which leaves the Panther to remain one of the rarest cars in the name. This 1954 masterpiece is a rare of its kind and also featured the flicker lights. Packard Panther can be picked up for around $800,000. Strangely, if you look closer at the bumper of how it's designed, you would see a mustache shaped bumper and grid which is one of the most distinctive features of the car. Tucker 48 as the year suggests, 1948 is a long time back from now and which ultimately means very rare also. Here we're looking at a rarity that truly defined what big built cars have always been about. Men of the 40s surely would have enjoyed driving in one of these sedans and owning one as a family car too. I'm picturing men with double breasted suits, fedora hats and about two children, one boy one girl and that very homely type country wife in the front seat and a scrambly car which makes a lot of noise as it takes off. Preston Tucker being the father of this large built car has only unfortunately managed to make 51 of these before the collapse and shutdown of his company and ultimately making it one of the rarest cars in the world today. In honor of Preston Tucker's unfinished dream, a 1988 movie called Tucker the Man in His Dream has been centered around the production of this car in that era. The value of the Tucker 48 now estimated to be 1.2 million dollars. Number 8. Aston Martin Bulldog If the Aston Martin Bulldog and the DeLorean were parked next to each other, it would have subconsciously given the impression to a viewer that either one of the cars are an older or newer model of each other, seeing that its unusual flattened shape is highly identical to each other, which includes the doors which open upwards. The car can also be misinterpreted at first glance as being an older model of a Lamborghini as well. And Lambos have only one shape known commonly to the world in its unconventional design and so does the Aston Martin Bulldog. Aston Martins in general have always featured its classic design even in the modernized versions too but they did it all different with the Bulldog. The gull wing doors which open upward and definitely a unique addition to the car making it a one of its kind. Aston Martin as a company planned to produce 25 limited editions to test the sales of it but only one Bulldog was ever actually built. Estimated value now 1.3 million. Number 7. Mercedes-Benz 300 SL Gullwing Speaking of rare cars with Gullwing doors, the Mercedes-Benz 300 SL also had one to pull up as a two-seater of luxury back then. Just as how we have our two-seater luxuries today which are extremely expensive while very common in high-end production of the supercar markets today. The Mercedes 300 SL Gullwing however is both the combination of rare and very expensive too if you manage to find one for purchase today. This beauty had lasted around two years in production until due to development of a newer Roadster concept version. Regardless of the beauty not being very long in production, it has been one of the fastest top speed cars in the world of its time. Having this much in a 3.0 engine from which the 300 came, from which the 300 came from, as well as being fuel injected with its sleek classic European luxury coupe design to boast, surely makes the 300 SL one of the rarest cars in the world which banks it at an estimated 1.5 mil today. This was certainly a bird that spread its wings and flew as fast as it could on the road. Number 5. Talbot Lago Grand Sport Talbot Lago, wow, looks exactly like a more civilized version of the famous Batman car. There's also much similarity between the front of the Talbot and the front of a vintage Aston Martin as well. By vintage I mean more than the DB5 production design concepts. The back of the car in shape however is truly conventional and curved making it look elongated on the back which is one of the most distinctive features overall even at first appearance. Talbot Lago Grand Sport can be considered as a presidential vehicle of its time as it certainly gives off an upper society appeal to its shape, design and price 
even back in those days to conclude it for your property it can be taken as a hot rod back and an Aston front fused to give us one Lago design Talbot Lago Grand Sport 1 a part of the legendary automotive history and has only 12 cars produced with people paying over two and a half million for their share of golden car history number five Porsche 916 we're so used to our fixed mindsets and images of what a Porsche would look like in our minds and we always somehow go back to one commonly visualized shape all in all regardless of what model we picture this may be due to seeing one shape of a Porsche all the time and nobody could blame us throughout the years Porsche hasn't failed to maintain its gecko shaped design in all their models or at least most but a slight curve or a bit off of lack of metals in a car can change how it appears in a huge way and so have they cleverly done with the 916 design we're still able to see hints of the gecko head design in this one but we had got to look harder than what meets the eye nevertheless out of 11 of these beauties that were made only one has been shipped to the United States speak about rare yeah it could reach a top speed of 145 miles per hour which was one of the fastest Porsches of the 70s when it came into production the Porsche 916 has been sold privately in recent years for around three million dollars number four the 1954 Oldsmobile f88 1954 has been the year of several things in terms where all the world's classic cars of today had their birth in the desire of man's mind ever since and to have taken streets as well here the Oldsmobile is definitely shown bright and bold in its distinctive design and shape the older cars as a matter of fact has been built with more room and some of the futuristic designs we have today all built in the hope of keeping in line with economic compensations the Oldsmobile speaks everything that defines the classic look and feel of what a vintage as we know it today to be geez the 50s has been a long few decades from today and so you can imagine what makes this ride one of the rarest a 250 horsepower v8 rocket engine has been what this collectible was born with yet never fully had the chance to tear the streets apart seeing as only four ever got the chance to stroll out of the factory in style we're banking on the price value now at three and a half million to own one of the four that were created number three Ferrari 250 GT spider convertible Bella Italia beautiful Italy and this country sure has plenty of things to boast other than its exotic women the sceneries the countrymen and their class and unconventional style the food and the everlasting romance oh I forgot to mention the rich heritage of their magnificently crafted cars which had represented the finest of quality throughout the history of producing them Ferraris can be found regularly on the streets of Italy as well as all over the globe and you've got to pay a steep amount in millions for it too but not this one specific model no you won't see this one driving around like a regular on the streets Ferrari 250 GT spider convertible has manufactured only one of its kind as in only one of this specific model has been made while the rest after that to continue its legacy were all coupes the only one ever made has been sold to car collector Bob Lee who still owns the Ferrari 250 GT spider convertible today we're looking at a price of 10 million dollars to make this sale and have the only one ever made be yours unless you're a Bill Gates or a Trump good luck on completing your Italian stallion collection number two 1921 Helica Deliat this ain't a car technically speaking it's built of biscuit shaped rims not sure if I could even call it that okay then wheels somewhat bicycle threaded tires around it the horn is actually a horn which is visible from the outside sort of like a trumpet looking thingy the back looks like it's supposed to actually be the front sort of the opposite on the helica deliat seeing that the pointy side of the body faces the back oh and the front well the front has a large circle with a fan it kind of looks like one of those types of boats which can also drive on land like hovercrafts the fact is being manufactured in the 1920s very early 20s and this is definitely one of the oldest and rarest cars in the world only 30 were ever made being manufactured by a French automobile company it has been dubbed as the plane without wings seeing that the large rotor blade in front made it appear so as well as a passenger who sat behind the driver like in planes of those days the giant propeller which could be visible at the forefront was the engine of this uniquely designed vehicle
Number one, Rolls-Royce 15 HP. The Rolls-Royce 15 HP is certainly the most rare card in the world, seeing that it was the first car model to have been produced by Charles Rolls and Henry Royce, and which obviously have been the launcher of the success of the brand at which they're proud to have today. Started off in 1904, the very beginning of the 20th century of where motor cars were one of the biggest inventions ever made since the 1800s, and so you can imagine even this in that era and how exciting the production of this vehicle would have been. A total of six Rolls-Royce 15 HPs were made and only one is still known of in existence. The name of the car suggests its horsepower being 15, which is modest and sort of funny to us now, but obviously considered a powerhouse of its day. Although in its design it might have appeared to be a beast of a car, this was actually a regular on the streets. The lone remaining Rolls Royce 15 HP can be seen touring the world in car shows and automotive shows around the globe and is estimated by insurance companies to be within the value of around $35 million.